Hello, welcome to the Mike Page Doodle Club. I'm Mike Page, and today we are going to be drawing a surfer. He's going to be in the barrel of a wave, so grab your drawing supplies, maybe a, some board shorts and some sunscreen, and let's get right to it. Don't be afraid to make mistakes. The important thing is that you make your mark. Park Street Books is proud to sponsor the Mike Page Doodle Club. Find them locally at 504 Main Street, Medfield, Mass. Open Monday to Saturday, 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. and Sunday, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Or visit parkstreetbooks.com. No matter where you are, that's parkstreetbooks.com. All right. To start our surfer, I'm going to be, let's see, where do I want to be on the paper? Probably right around here. Um, and I'm going to make his head. I think I'm going to make the actual surfer just kind of a scribbly drawing where the details are kind of implied, but maybe they're not all perfectly in there. So his head is more or less an oval with a little bit pointier at the bottom or her head if you want to be making a female surfer. Uh, next, I'm going to add some shoulders in here. And just going to kind of give you a reference point real quick. This will be torso, leg, leg, leg. So hopefully that's kind of a good starting point so you can see where we're going here. I know sometimes it can be kind of tricky to just blindly follow what I'm doing. So there's your little cheat sheet of kind of what, what we're aiming for. So he's going to have one arm crossing his body a little bit, or out in front of his body anyway. Kind of a scribble hand there. You can decide whether your surfer is wearing a wetsuit or board shorts or a bikini or whatever. Whatever it is you want your surfer wearing. You could have your surfer wearing clown shoes if you wanted. <clears throat> it's your drawing. Wonder if there are any surfing clowns out there. That's a weird, uh, very small niche to fill. Um, but I bet there is a surfing clown. <laughs> that guy makes 20s of dollars for sure. He's Got to be filthy rich by now. Uh, again, I'm just kind of like implying facial features. So those are kind of scribble eyes, scribble nose. Um, it's in there if you look really closely, but I'm not, I'm not worried about getting like every little detail just right. Uh, I'm going to give my surfer some board shorts here. Just past his knee. And then I'm going to make his skinny little legs. And this leg is bent a little bit differently and is very much going away from you. So if you're studying like figure drawing, surfers would be a very good thing to practice. Uh, there's, they're always doing kind of unusual things with their body. They've got their arms out. Uh, sometimes their arms are way up. Uh, there, there will usually be a lot of foreshortening involved. So um, foreshortening is like, if you're drawing my arm right now, you know that my arm is longer than it looks, but what you're seeing is would be very short. Uh, that's called foreshortening as it's getting, if it's pointed towards you, it's going to shorten. This area of the leg would be foreshortened a bit. Um, this arm would be foreshortened because it's going away from you a bit. But surfers would be a very good practice thing to learn how to draw the human body and kind of what, what works and what doesn't. So if you draw a surfer in a pose that everybody knows, well, he wouldn't still be standing up if he was doing that, um, then people will call you on it. So it, that surfers are definitely a good practice thing of getting the balance right and um, body angles and contortions and all that stuff. 
Uh, next, I'm going to start his surfboard. This looks like a short board. Uh, it's going to have a point here. And we want to make fairly quick lines here. I'm not going to continue this the whole way. Hopefully, you didn't already do that. Uh, the reason is the wave is going to cut this off. So we're going to make him inside the barrel of a wave. Really quickly, I'm going to give you kind of the overall area of this so that you can see what we're aiming for. This will be all wave here, like that. Hopefully that helps a little bit. Um, so this line here, I always say to draw things the direction that they're going in nature. Uh, so for hair, I will typically, um, if I was drawing a lady's hair or a man with long hair, I would draw hair the direction that it grows. Uh, if I'm drawing a tree, I'm drawing it up uh, and out from the, from the trunk for the branches and the roots, I would draw it the direction they're growing. This wave, I'm going to try to be going this direction as much as possible um, because it will create the correct movement. Um, if I'm drawing it coming the other way, it might really show that oh, that's not quite, you know, you might get it close, but you'd, you'd probably say, eh, it's not quite right, something's off. I'm also going to try to do a lot of kind of scribble drawing here. Uh, the reason being that waves are kind of violent um, and there's a lot of movement. Uh, so as you get into some of the details, they're not going to be nice, clean, crisp lines. It's going, you're going to get into like foam and ocean spray and all of that stuff. Ocean spray like water flying, not cranberry juice. Um, so these are going to be kind of almost like white water at the top. So where the wave starts to break, it gets very violent, um, and you'll, it'll be white, misty spray more than uh, lines. And then the tricky part is going to be in here, you kind of get a blend of uh, water still coming up and water that's already crashing down. <clears throat> so back here, you'll start to get like a really violent uh, crush of water or whatever you want to call it. Um, these angles aren't quite right, this, these, this last little bit that I made. Um, so if you can see here, the lines kind of work. These two, shouldn't have made those. <laughs> um, so if you're following this line, it gets a little too pointed there. Um, and this would be more of, a, more of a gentle curve. Even though everything happening in that wave is very violent, it's still following more natural curves. If you've never been knocked around by the ocean before, you are missing out. Um, so I said I was drawing everything this way. There's always a few exceptions to the rule. Um, on this one, we've got to get rid of that ink glob there. On this one, it's uh, right up at the front of the surfboard that I broke the rule, made a couple lines kicking out this direction. Um, to show the water at the front of the board without, if I kick this direction, I'm realistically, I'm either not going to quite make it to the surfboard or I'm going to accidentally go past. Um, so that was my reasoning there. When I was in high school, I used to draw surfers a lot. Um, 
I was just fascinated by the water. Um, like there's so much going on in a, in a surfing picture with how the water looks, what it's doing, um, where there's shadow, where there's not. I did a lot of watercolors in high school of waves and surfers and they weren't all great. I'm not going to pretend they were all amazing. They certainly were not. Um, but they were fun, fun to do. And I learned a lot doing them. Uh, you can add like a seagull or two if you want it out here. Uh, you could put some clouds if you want. I'll just do a real quick kind of scribble cloud. And there we go. Uh, hopefully, if your pen did not smudge down here like mine did, I got a big ink glob here, and then my hand, of course, scraped over it a few times. Whoops. Um, it's bound to happen if you're using marker or pen. Uh, actually, even pencil, you can smudge it quite easily. So it's just something to be mindful of, especially if you're someone like me that tends to drag their hand across their work. Uh, it can also help to start <clears throat> if you're right-handed, start at the left, work right. If you're left-handed, start at the right, le work left. A couple things that'll help minimize those problems that I seem to make all the time. Thanks for watching this episode. I hope you enjoyed drawing a surfer. Tune in next week when we will be drawing a grumpy old man. Don't miss that. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Park Street Books is proud to sponsor the Mike Page Doodle Club. Park Street Books is an independent children's book and toy store. With nothing electronic in the store, Park Street Books encourages kids to read, play, and unplug. Find them locally at 504 Main Street, Medfield, Mass. Open Monday to Saturday, 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. and Sunday, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Or visit parkstreetbooks.com no matter where you are. That's parkstreetbooks.com.